Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Ben Howard's Black Flies. Thank you for your support, thanks for donating, for buying the tutorial. Um, let's get started with the tuning. The tuning is CFC GGC from low to high and a capo on 3rd fret covering the high 5 strings. All strings but the lower E. In this case a C. C, F, C, G, G, C, capo, third fret, covering the high five strings. Alright, and um, if you tune your guitar correctly, it should sound like this. You got it? Let's get started. Okay, let's get to the intro and the verse. Um, intro and verse are quite the same. So, I'm going to show you what I play and then I'll break it down. Okay, um, that was a little variation. Usually, Ben Hart plays. Uh, but that varies. In the studio recording, um, it's a bit lower, and in some of his live performances, um, he plays this. Um, but I'm going, I'm going to show you both. That's not a problem. Okay, let's just start. You start with um, index finger on fourth string, fifth fret. Plug it one time. Then you take your ring finger, put it on seventh fret, fourth string. Play two times. And then you use your index finger still on 5th fret 4th string plug it once and play a pull off alright and then use your ring finger on 7th fret 5th string play one time and then you play 6th string open you play it 3 times and then after the 3rd bass note the 3rd time you plug the 6th string you take your index finger on 5th fret 5th string Play that one. Release your ring finger from the seventh fret. And then play a pull off. Alright. Um, every time you play that note on seventh fret, fifth string and 5th fret 5th string you can give that a little bending a little vibrating sound okay until the pull off and um, after the pull off you play 5 and 4 together open and then you play 5 as a single note and five and four together several times uh, about four times I've heard that eight times in a special live video but that was a little boring um, four times is 
enough, I think. Or two times. How you want it, just listen to the version of Ben Howard. times and then you you get back into that the part you've done before um, playing this thing here longer is just the transition to the to the chorus um, usually that's played about four times and I heard that one played eight times but that was really really long and actually didn't like that yeah this four time thing was uh, leading to the chorus. So play it three times. And then get back into that one. And now I'll show you um, the other variation um, with a higher bit. So you start again on fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth and the pull off, that's exactly the same. And then you end on um, seventh fret. Fifth string, yeah. Sorry, you play the seventh fret, fifth string, then you play one bass note on sixth open, and then you play fifth fret, fourth string. All right. play a hammer on on 7th fret 4th string and then you play 6 and 4 one after another You play two times, six four, six four, and then you play fifth fret, fourth string, a single time, and a pull off. Yeah, you release it, pull off, and then you play five four, um, fifth string and then fifth and fourth together and the whole theme starts from the beginning so that's the way it is played in the studio version let's play that one time version um, and the live version there's a higher bit and that's what I'll show you now um, you start like before and now um, again when you're on fifth string seventh fret you play one bass note and then you get up to uh, fifth fret fourth string with a hammer on on seventh fret, and now you go up to eighth fret fourth string, play it, and slide down to seventh fret. Yeah. Play it on 8th fret, 4th string, slide down to 7th fret. Then you take your index finger on 5th um, fret, 4th string again. And now you play a pull off with your ring finger from 7th fret. And then you play the string open. Right? 
four and four five together and then it's repeated like four. You can play a bass note in between. When sliding from 8th to 7th, play a bass note and then play that pull off from 7th to 5th fret. So all three variations, one after another. Alright, so these are the three things you can play during the intro or verse or better the intro and um, yeah, it's up to you to decide what you want to play. In the studio version the intro is um, one time the low bit, then this high bit, but not the very high bit, just this one. and. Um, then the verse starts, and the verse consists of four times the lower bit here. And when Ben Howard stops singing, then um, there is the intro repeated again, like one time the low bit, and then this. Um, so in the studio version, this high bit with a slide down from 8 to 7th fret doesn't exist, that's the thing he plays in the live versions. But I really like it, you can uh, vary between that and it um, gives a good sound. So that's basically um, the intro and the verse. Um, let's proceed to the chorus. Okay, the chorus. We ended up on playing uh, 5 and 4 um, together. Single 5 and 5 4 together. And the chorus starts on uh, 12th fret, covering the low two strings, 6 and 5, right? So, actually the, the picking pattern is, um, is almost the same like um, before, right before the chorus, um, but um, in the, in the studio version, Ben Howard plays it on 6 and, and 5. Yeah, 6 and 6 and 5 together. But that sounds a little bit uh, thin, in my opinion. Um, I play 6 and then 6 and 5 and 4 together. And I've also seen that in, um, in a YouTube version of, of Ben Howard playing that song. But that's up to you how you like it best. Usually in the, in the studio version it's just 6 and 5. On 12th fret, 6th and 5th string. And then after several times changing from 6th from string 12th fret to 6th string 10th fret. And sliding down to 8th fret, 6th string, and the 5th is open. And that theme starts from the beginning, 12th fret. Alright, so um, usually four times this shape, four times this shape, and eight times this shape. Um, 
One time is a serial and double, that's one time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so that's what you place in the in the chorus. Like I said, I like playing um, six, five, and four together instead of just six and five because that gives a, a better sound in my opinion. And um, well, it's up to you. And then the song starts getting easier because the second time, when the chorus when the chorus comes to an end, and Ben Howard is on eighth fret, sixth string, instead of plucking the strings right in the middle after three or four times plucking them, he starts to strum them. Right? Getting a little bit louder in the end, so um, he plays directly into the next verse. Okay, the second verse. The second verse is um, actually played like the first one, but now everything is strummed, there's no picking again uh, anymore. Now that's the only difference to the first verse. Um, instead of plucking five and four together, um, you hold down the sixth string on eighth fret, and now you strum down the first three or four strings. You start on 5th fret, 4th string, one strumming down, then you take your ring finger on 7th fret, 4th string, two strums, like 4 at 2 pitch, now it's two strums, and then you get back to 5th fret, 4th string, one strum, Followed by a pull off. And then fifth string on seventh fret. Fifth string on fifth fret. Again, this. Um, Bending, bending on 7th fret and 5th fret and the pull off on 5th fret and then 8th fret 6th string and um, Except the first, the first few strums, until you end up on seventh fret, fifth string, um, you play one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, right? So that's quite simple. That's a, that's quite simple strumming. And that goes through the whole second verse. Um, when I count it, when I count it correctly in the studio version, he plays this um, this thing six times without any variation, without something like. That's not included, but you can play it after after the singing. Um, 
that's absolutely no problem. But in the studio version, it's it's not included. The strumming pattern when playing this variation stays exactly the same, so it's no problem for you to to put that in there if you want to. Um, yeah, but that's the second verse, and um, the second verse uh, verse ends up on that eighth fret sixth string. and leads directly into the second chorus. Um, the second chorus is exactly the same like the first chorus, the same shapes, 12th fret, 5th and 6th string, then 10th um, fret, 6th string, and 12th uh, fret, 5th string, and 8th fret, 6th string. It's exactly the same like before, but this time It's all strummed. And uh, when the chorus is done, um, that chorus is about, I don't know, 40, 50 seconds? I don't know. Um, a few times playing this, these shapes. Um, when ending up on the 8th fret on the 6th string, the strumming gets louder, it starts, it starts to rise, and you start to strum all the strings. leads into the bridge right and that's what we do next the bridge okay the bridge um, we ended up on 8th fret 6th string strumming Now we change our shape to ring finger on 7th fret 5th string and index finger on 5th fret 3rd string. The strumming pattern stays the same for the moment. But just on the shape here on 5th and 7th fret. Now we change that. Um, we move up the whole shape from 5th and 7th fret to 8th and 10th fret. And then moving further up to 10th fret and 12th fret. Moving from 12th and 10th fret, your, in, your, your ring finger moving down to 10th fret on 5th string, and your index finger changed position from um, 10th fret to 8th fret 6th string. Alright? That's the, the middle part of the, of the chorus, right? No, it's not. 8th um, fret and 10th fret. Now when strumming it down, we um, take our middle finger on 9th fret, 5th string.
and release our inner uh, our ring finger from tenth fret, fifth string. And start the same thing from the beginning. Right? So, on the first shape, still use your old strumming pattern, right? But, um, prior, short prior moving up to um, the second shape, you do some, some more um, um, some more strumming and um, that's something you have to to listen to the version you want to you wanna play um, there is in the, in the studio version um, the, the first three shapes are quite simple to play it's um, Yeah, just just listen closely. I play it very slowly, so I hope you can you can copy that. Um, it's it's very hard to explain how many strums you're doing and um, upstrokes, downstrokes, whatever. Um, I'm just down strumming all the time now. And the last strum, I play the strings open before changing to that shape on 8th and 10th fret. And the next drum, I have the shape on 8th and 10th fret. shape and you play the, the, the calm version of that, um, you have the same strumming pattern as before it is, right? And then one time when you play that double strum, the first strum, 8th um, and 10th fret, and the second of this of this double strum, the second strum, you have the middle finger on ninth fret, fifth string. And then you change position to the first shape again. So that's the that's the regular version. Um, the, the calm version and in the studio recording this calm version um, is played about three or four times and then it gets a little bit a little bit more hectic a little bit louder and um, this is now very very difficult to explain um, the shapes are exactly the same like I like I show you but um, now he's not just playing uh, these these soft strums with just one finger maybe um, he's playing with his whole hand and there are also um, changes between downstroking and upstroking the first time we played that now it was just downstroking that was quite simple but now we're playing downs and ups and that's a bit that's a bit uh, difficult.
The first three um, shapes you can play in the regular way just a bit stronger with the uh, downstrokes that doesn't make much difference but in the last shape here on the 8th and 10th fret um, that's the one you hear in the studio version as up and down stroking very very fast when he's changing from this position to this position he's not just changing one time but he's changing two or even three times seen that very 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 often from version to version I know in the studio version it becomes very strong and there's some down up stroking um, on that last bit here but um, that's up to you how you want to play it and um, yeah that's that's the bridge and the bridge leads directly into the last part of the song Okay, the last part of the song is the outro, so we played the, the bridge. Right, and um, to get to the outro, we just um, play it a little bit softer. We, we stop playing these hard strums and play a little bit with more feeling a little bit softer and then we are in the outro which is um, from the strumming pattern exactly the same um, but we don't play these high notes here we just play the low two or three strings uh, starting with inner finger on seventh fret fifth string and um, Sliding up to 10th fret, 5th string, playing a hammer on on 12th fret, 5th string, one strum after that hammer on, slide down to 10th fret, 5th string, and place our index finger on 8th uh, fret, 6th string. And here we play the same like before on uh, 10th fret and 9th fret with ring finger and middle finger. And that goes through the whole outro and uh, ends up on 5th string, 7th fret. That's the last note of the song. Um, during the last time he plays this tune, um, he reduces the speed a little bit just to create the, the mood that the song is now over and plays the last note on 7th um, fret 5th string with the low 2 strings. And as a little hint for the outro part, um, don't use, don't use your, your fingernail because that gives a hard sound and uh, the outro is very very calm and um, you want that soft sound of the notes and um, use your index finger, the side of your index finger and the fingertip um, touch the, the strings with your skin so you get that so you get this comfortable sound and not this stretching noise right so that's the tip that's the, the hint for you I have for the outro and um, now the song is finished cool have fun playing thanks for watching
thanks for supporting and um, see you soon next tutorial is already in work